He bought mining land at a tax auction in Park County, but tonight the man says the county quietly changed official documents and moved his property off mining territory. Chief investigative reporter Eric Ross uncovered major discrepancies county officials have yet to fully explain. When people fail to pay their taxes and abandon their property, the land goes up for sale at county tax lien auctions. Ed Eckley thought he scored a good deal, but a few years in, he says county officials are trying to take back the property he's already making payments on. Our whole life is based around mineral. I mean, that's kind of what we do. Ed Eckley is a small business owner. He runs this mining shop in the heart of Florence and has turned what some call a hobby into a career. We prospect and we look for mineral and we really had high hopes to get up in there and maybe, you know, do something with this mine. In 2015, Eckley purchased a parcel of land in Park County just off County Road 60. The land identified in Section 24 on this map is potentially full of minerals, a miner's dream. But now he says Park County officials switched his property to Section 23, an area west of the mining shaft with terrain that cannot be easily accessed. From everything that we've looked through and we've tried to verify, any possibility of a shaft over on 23 could take days or even weeks to try to even locate in that type of rough terrain and even by helicopter it would cost thousands of dollars to fly around up there and look around, you know. From Google Earth, this is what the property looks like that Eckley says should be his. But this is where county officials say Eckley's land now sits. The geography considerably different, with this area containing nothing but steep, rocky terrain with no roadways or trails. All of our documentation, all of the paperwork from previous owners clear back into the late 1800s all show that documentation as Section 24. So for them to be able to say, oh no, it was a mistake and it's a mile to the west, is very confusing and it's got us kind of upset. On this tax lien document and treasurer's deed obtained by News 5 Investigates, it shows Eckley should have Section 24. But if you visit the county tax assessor's website, Section 24 has been changed to 23. In an email to News 5 Investigates, County Treasurer Michelle Miller said, quote, after investigating the treasurer's deed, we found that it was simply a typo on the section number. It should have been Section 23. But when we asked the county to clarify the change in location between Section 23 and 24, surprisingly, we were told the county didn't know about the location and would have to look further into the historical section number changes and get back with us. We're still waiting on answers. It cannot possibly be an honest mistake. The last part of our discussion was that, well, we'll research this further and we'll contact you. And I gave them my email. They've got our phone number. They know exactly who we are, Ed and Sharon Eckley, and they will not contact us. The county also could not tell us who legally owns Section 24, but in the course of our research, we discovered a big corporation called Earth Energy Resources LLC has bought dozens of properties from Park County, most around the same area Eckley says his land should be on. This other situation has got us thinking that there's something really shady going on up in that territory. The treasurer told us specific questions about mapping would have to be answered by the assessor's office. Our inquiry has been forwarded to them, but we have not yet heard back. You can count on us to get to the bottom of this case, and as new developments come in, we'll be sure to pass them along to you. Watching out for you, Eric Ross, News 5 Investigates. Eric, thanks. As always, if you have a problem or issue you'd like Chief Investigative Reporter Eric Ross to check out, Call our tip line 719-228-6275 or send an email to news5investigates at koaa.com.